Number 10. Gator Artifacts Earlier this year, an alligator from Mississippi was killed in Eagle Lake. The monstrous reptile weighed 750 pounds and was an absolute giant, measuring almost 14 feet in length. It was local hunter John Hamilton who took the beast out. But it's not the alligator that we're here to talk about today. It's what John discovered after he killed the monster. When John brought the carcass to the butchers, he got a phone call saying that something unexpected was taken out of the alligator's stomach. The butchers removed ancient artifacts that have since been dated back to 6,000 BC. That's 8,000 years before today. And before you ask, the answer is no. The alligator has not been alive for 8,000 years. Instead, it must have accidentally eaten the artifacts while lurking at the bottom of the lake. Two main artifacts were uncovered. The first is a type of stone called a plummet, which only dates back to 1700 BC. The stone was used by early fishermen, likely as some kind of tool for sharpening bone hooks. The second artifact is the far more interesting one. It's called an atlatl dart point, and it was used as a projectile weapon. The ancient Native Americans in the area would secure the dart point to a hunting spear, then use it to spear creatures from a distance. As for how the alligator got a hold of the artifacts, it's not that complicated. People settled in Mississippi 12,000 years ago, and they left lots of treasure behind. The alligator accidentally turned into an archaeologist when it slurped them up from the lake bed. Number 9. Ancient Shipwreck Marine archaeologists have come across an interesting shipwreck filled with some pretty shocking treasures. The shipwreck was found off the coast of Greece with its cargo including ancient artifacts from both Spain and Tunisia. As for the shipwreck itself, it had left its home port of Rome on its way to some trading destination when it met its fate. It's been dated back to sometime between 200 and 300 AD. When it set off from port, it was loaded with ceramic vessels called amphorae. Amphorae are what the Romans called their special containers that they used for storing important things like olive oil and wine for shipping. The shipwreck was discovered as part of an ongoing mission led by the National Hellenic Research Foundation to locate and record sunken antiquities around Greece. And believe it or not, uncovering a sunken ship actually takes a lot of manpower. Over 100 dives were conducted, involving a team of at least 23 scientists and technicians. They spent over 200 hours scouring the seabed to get all the details of this lost ship. But even after all that time, all they really know is that the shipwreck was a Roman merchant vessel that ran into some misfortune along the most important maritime trade route 2,000 years ago, linking the Middle East and Europe. Number 8. The Loch Ness Monster The Loch Ness Monster has been spotted for the eighth time in just one year. In fact, Loch Ness Monster sightings are rising like crazy in 2021 after a record year in 2020 when the beast was spotted 13 times. But what could this possibly mean? Is the Loch Ness Monster getting braver, or are people's imaginations simply running a little wild? One of the most recent sightings was made by a father and his daughter on a holiday in the Scottish Highlands. They saw water ripples and an unidentified thing moving beneath the waves in Loch Ness while walking through the hills. They had a perfect view of the lake from where they were, and they noticed there was nothing artificial making the water ripple. All there was, well, all they could see anyway, was some kind of creature lurking just beneath the water surface. But this was only one sighting of the beast that lives in Loch Ness. Another man visiting the loch from Cambridge also witnessed an unidentified creature while scrutinizing the area with his binoculars. He saw a hump emerge from the waves, looking kind of like the back of a giant turtle except black in color. The creature then dove back into the lake and was gone. Of course, these sightings aren't proof the Loch Ness Monster really does exist. However, there are lots of experts who believe it does. And more than that, they believe that the Loch Ness Monster is actually a plesiosaur, a type of dinosaur that has somehow remained alive in this one body of water. Number 7. The Town That Drowned Villa Epequen was once a bustling tourist town for the ultra-wealthy. Back when it was in business, the small town with a population of only 1,500 accommodated up to 5,000 visitors at a time. But unfortunately, the town ran into a bit of trouble when a dam broke and the whole place was flooded under 30 feet of water. 
It happened over 25 years ago in Argentina, making Villa Epecuen one of the youngest cities in the world to be completely submerged. At least, it used to be submerged. This small town, which was founded in 1921, is located about 370 miles from Buenos Aires. It was on November 10, 1985, when the unthinkable happened. A dramatic storm caused the dam to burst, at which point water rushed into the town and rose at an incredible rate of half an inch every hour. The residents had time to flee, but not enough time to secure all their most prized possessions. Homes and businesses were left in a hurry, just before the flood water finally covered everything. But here's the shocking twist. Villa Epecuen was underwater for 25 years. The water did eventually recede to its original level, leaving only a handful of areas still slightly submerged. The village is mostly dry now, but almost nobody lives here anymore. A man named Pablo Novak, 88 years old, returned to his home in 2009 and is apparently currently the only resident. Number 6. Camo Carpet Shark A diver recently had a bizarre encounter with a creature you've probably never heard of. The young diver, a lady from Spain named Claudia Argemi Danti, was visiting Australia when she spotted a wabigong shark. Yes, a wabigong shark, also known as a camo carpet shark. This monster doesn't look like your typical shark. It has a huge head, it's flat like a carpet you might have in your bedroom, and it's actually wider than it is long. These animals can grow over 10 feet long and they have the exceptional ability to camouflage themselves. Their camouflage is what makes them so hard to spot, since they blend in so well with the ocean floor. Luckily, this amazing encounter did not turn deadly. Although they look docile and harmless, Wabigong sharks are known for occasionally attacking people. They are still sharks, after all. They just so happen to look a little ridiculous. What would you do if you came face to face with this bizarre underwater creature? Let me know in the comments below! And I wanted to give a big shout out to Tony Sue and Artina Jashari. Thanks so much, guys! If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 5. A Lost Helicopter Off the coast of Pacific Beach in San Diego, underwater diver Tyler Stalter discovered the wreckage of a dauntless bomber from World War II. It had gone down during training exercises, killing both pilots on board. Their bodies were never recovered. Shortly after the discovery of the mysterious crash, Tyler Stelter made another shocking find. He uncovered the holy grail of sunken helicopters, what he believes to be the Halo 66. The Halo 66 was a Navy Sea King most famous for its role in pulling the astronauts from the Apollo 11 mission out of the water after their capsule splashed down off the coast of California. That was in 1969. Six years later, in 1975, the legendary Sea King crashed during a nighttime training exercise. All four of the crew members were able to be rescued, though one of them did die several weeks later from his injuries. The official report at the time said that the helicopter sank at least 4,800 feet deep. However, Tyler Stalter just found it at only 200 feet deep. It was uncovered with the fuselage still intact, though the rest of the helicopter was in pretty rough shape. Number 4. Ancient Roman Coins Near the end of the summer in 2021, a pair of divers exploring the coast off the island of Portichol in Spain discovered one of the largest collections of Roman gold coins that has ever been found in Europe. Divers Luis Lenz and Cesar Jimeno were thrilled when they accidentally found eight coins underwater. To them, it felt like being in an Indiana Jones movie. They were extremely excited and even alerted the local culture and heritage officials of the discovery. But after being on dry land for a bit, they started getting curious. They packed up their scuba gear and went back underwater, hoping to find even more coins. Lucky for them, when they returned to the original site, they uncovered 45 additional gold coins. It turned into one of the biggest underwater treasure halls in European history. The coins have been dated back 1,500 years. According to researchers from the University of Alicante, they were minted between the end of the 4th century and the start of the 5th century. And to make the find even more miraculous, the coins were in almost perfect condition. The inscription was still legible on almost all of the coins. 
Researchers were able to tell immediately that they were made during the rule of five different Roman emperors. The next question becomes, why were these coins hiding underwater? They weren't part of a shipwreck, they were just scattered at the bottom of the sea. One of the professors from the university, Jaime Vidal, says the gold probably belonged to a landowner who hid the stash near the coast to protect his wealth from invaders pouring into the Roman Empire, probably the Visigoths. The landowner must have either died or simply forgot where he hid the coins. And over time, the land where he had stashed them ended up underwater. Number 3. Masked Seahorse Photographer Nico Samaras took the strangest picture off the coast of northern Greece. The amazing photograph was one of 3,500 nominated for the Ocean Photography Award in 2021. And guess what? He won the award. He was also given a nomination for Conservation Photographer of the Year. While swimming in the waters off Greece, Nikos came across a seahorse dragging along a single-use mask. The seahorse had one of the mask straps tucked into its tail, dragging the thing along like a deflated parachute. The reason the photograph turned into such a big deal is that it shed some disturbing light on not only the issue of marine pollution, but the issue of medical waste that has been dumped into the ocean since the beginning of 2020. We've all seen turtles stuck in plastic rings or covered in plastic bags, but seahorses hanging onto surgical masks is completely new. But it's not that surprising considering somewhere around 1.6 billion disposable masks went into the ocean in 2020. According to scientists, it will take them 450 years to degrade. And just wait until you hear the next part. Masks have already created a massive clump of waste in the ocean almost 10% the size of the Great Garbage Plastic Patch. And it's continuing to grow. Number 2. Prehistoric City of Tikina the Belgian archaeologist Christophe Delaire discovered evidence of an early civilization at the bottom of Lake Titicaca in Bolivia. Christophe heard rumors of the sunken city from the locals and decided to dive down to the bottom to see what he could find. Turns out, he found a lot. Little did anyone know there was an actual city sitting at the very bottom of the lake. We now know it to be the lost city of Tikina. The initial discovery was made about 10 years ago, but since then, scientific teams have found at least 24 separate archaeological remains. These remains make up an underwater metropolis, a submerged city so impressive that the Bolivian government is actually constructing a museum to commemorate the ruins down there. It will cost millions of dollars, but part of the museum will be underwater. This will allow visitors to glimpse the ancient city through the murk of the lake. But what about the city itself? Which ancient civilization built it? It was the pre-Hispanic empire known as the Tiwanaku who likely constructed the city at a time when Lake Titicaca was still dry land. This was over 2,000 years ago, way before the Inca ever came on the scene. Tiwanaku was one of the most powerful civilizations anywhere in South America, reaching their peak power between 500 and 900 AD. It was around this time that their great city of Tikina sank and the Tiwanaku people vanished without a trace. Number 1. The MS Estonia In September 2021, a private expedition traveled to the site of the MS Estonia wreckage. The expedition used the research vessel the RS Sentinel to go deep underwater to the very place where this infamous ferry sank on September 28, 1994. It was actually the relatives of the victims of the shipwreck that funded the expedition. For those unaware of this terrible tragedy, the MS Estonia was on its way from Tallinn to Stockholm when it ran into some trouble, sank, and 852 people on board were killed. There were only 138 survivors. All these years later, it's still the second deadliest sinking of a ship in Europe during peacetime. But why go in search of the sunken vessel all these years later? The expedition is actually trying to solve a few troublesome questions. The families want to know why the ship sank and why all their loved ones had to die. In 1997, the official disaster report stated that the fatal event was caused by locks on the bow door failing, causing the door to separate from the vessel. Water then poured into the vehicle deck of the ferry and caused the ship to sink. But almost 30 years later, the relatives of the dead want a more concise answer. They funded the expedition to get to the bottom of what truly happened. 
probably so they have someone to blame and that it never happens again. Thanks for watching. Do you like to go diving or snorkeling? Have you found anything interesting? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye.